Okay, time to give that as level 2 to level 3 ago. Uh, we've got our username and URL, and we're logged in with the message there is nothing on this page once again. Um, so let's have a look at the source like we did before. And we've got the body of our source code, and we've got this HTML comment. And no more information leaks, not even Google will find it this time. Um, so, ha ha ha. Um, a bit ironic, right? Because this is in itself an information leak. Um, but how do we interpret that? Not even Google will find it this time. Well, when it says something like this, what it's talking about are these things called, um, is a file called robots.txt. Um, but to know about robots.txt, you kind of need to know a little tiny bit about web crawlers. Uh, so Google has software, sort of some automated bots that that um, that index the internet. Uh, they they visit your website and they index everything so that it can be used for its search algorithm, or you know to display its search results uh, better. Uh, but of course, there might be some web pages on your website that you don't want these bots to visit uh, for traffic reasons, um, privacy reasons. You know, there's a few different. Uh, reasons why you might not want them to to visit those particular links and so there's a standard in place which is uh, a text file called robots.txt uh, and in there you use a specific format to specify which um, sort of web crawlers uh, can you know wh where they can visit basically and where they're disallowed to visit where they're not allowed to visit more importantly um, but that's held in in a robots.txt file. So that's what this is sort of pointing towards. So all we need to do is have a look and see what see what the robots have been disallowed from seeing. So robots.txt and it says user agent uh, star which is a wildcard which just means every user agent so no web crawler bots are going to be able to go to this disallow which is this secret directory. Um, so that's a little piece of information for us, right? We can pop that in and see what is in this secret directory. And here we have another users.txt. So we can click that and we have natas4 and its password. Uh, so robots.txt I think in this context is they're sort of implying that you won't be able to Google and find the directory. I don't know if that's strictly true in real life. I don't think that by not um, by putting something in robots that that .txt that necessarily means it's not going to appear on the um, in the Google search engine, for instance. But but that's what it meant in this it, this case. And uh, you know, if you want to do some more reading on that, then please do. Anyway, we have the password for the next one, so I shall see you there.